Board. Um, the Washington Post reported in their uh, September 16th article that you did show them therapist notes. Is that incorrect? I don't remember physically showing her a note. Okay. Perhaps my counsel did. I don't. I don't remember physically showing her my copy of the note. Okay. But I. I just don't remember. So I'm sorry. I have retrieved a physical copy of those medical records. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, you also attended individual therapy. Uh, did you show any of those notes to the reporter from the Washington Post? Again, I don't remember if I showed her like something that I summarized or if I just spoke about it um, or if she saw it in my counsel's office. I can't, I, I don't know for sure, but I certainly spoke with her about the 2013 record with the individual therapist. And Brett Kavanaugh's name is not in those notes, is that correct? Correct. Okay. Um, in reading the Washington Post article, it mentions that this incident that we're here about contributed to anxiety and PTSD problems with which you have struggled. The word contributed, does that mean that there are other things that have happened that have also contributed to anxiety and PTSD? I think that's a great question. I think the etiology of anxiety and PTSD is multifactorial. So um, that was certainly a critical risk risk that uh, we would call it a risk factor in science. So that would be a predictor of the symptoms that I now have. Uh, it doesn't mean that other things that have happened in my life would have would make it worse or better. There are other risk factors as well. So have there been other things then that have contributed to the anxiety and PTSD that you suffered? Well, I think there's sort of biological predispositions that everyone in here has for particular disorders. So I can't rule out that I would have some biological predisposition to be what about know, an anxious type person. What about environmental? Um, environmentally, uh, not that I can think of. Okay. Certainly no, nothing as striking as that event. Okay. In your interview with the Washington Post, you said that you told your husband early in your marriage that you had been a victim of, and I quote, physical abuse. In your statement, you said that before you were married, you told him that you had experienced, quote, a sexual assault. Do these two things refer to the same incident? Yes. And at either point on these two times, did you use any names? No. May I ask, Dr. Ford, how did you get to Washington? In an airplane. Okay. It's, I asked that because it's been reported by the press that you would not submit to an interview with the committee because of your fear of flying. Is, is that true? Well, I was willing, I was hoping that they would come to me, but then I uh, realized that was an unrealistic request. It would have been a quicker trip for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, that was certainly what I was hoping was to avoid having to get on an airplane, but I eventually was able to uh, get up the gumption with the help of some friends and get on the plane. When you were here in uh, the mid-Atlantic mid area back in uh, August, uh, end of July, August, how did you get here? Also by airplane. I come here once a year during the summer to visit my family. Okay. I'm sorry, not here. I go to Delaware. Okay. Thanks. Um, in fact, you fly fairly frequently for your hobbies, and your, you've had to fly for your work. Is that true? Correct, unfortunately. Um, you, you were a consulting biostatistician in Sydney, Australia. Is that right? I've never been to Australia, but the company that I worked for is based in Australia, and they have an office in San Francisco, California. Okay. I, I don't think I'll make it to Australia. <laughs> It is long. Um, I also saw on your CV that you list the following interests of surf travel, and you, in parentheses, put Hawaii, Costa Rica, South Pacific Islands, and French Polynesia. Have you been all to those places? Correct. By airplane? Yes. And your interests also include oceanography, uh, Hawaiian and Tahitian culture. 
Did you travel by air as a part of those interests? Correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Easier for me to travel going that direction when it's a vacation. Thank you.